Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel, both new and old. We are of course into the Fergie way and in tonight's episode we're going to be playing Arsenal in the EFL quarterfinal where of course it's our young guns that are defending their title and it is them that will get the chance to try and knock Arsenal out. So, of course, in the last episode, we did take a drubbing from Juventus. We played the younger lads. They took a kick, and it's going to be those younger lads pretty much featuring in today's game. But from there, we went to play Sunderland, away from home. And as you can see, maybe the morale of the squads dropped slightly because we drew 3-3. And I'll be brutally honest, if you take a look at one matter's penalty, we were lucky to do that. We took the league, which was nothing new, nothing new for us. Damian managing to get a goal. They did then manage to get a couple of goals in the second half. We were 2-1 down. I had to start making changes, so I switched to attack and started playing a little bit more direct. Uh, was using the shout-outs from the touchlands assertively telling the guys to push forward. I had to remove Zlatan and Depay because they were both playing fucking shite, to be brutally honest. And it really didn't feel as though anything was coming from the game. And then in this 82nd minute, Bessic scored. And it was like, well... That's that. 3-1. We're not really getting back into it. And then Rashford managed to give us an interest in the last five minutes. One Mata managed to win a penalty in what was pretty much the final kick of the game. And we went on to get a draw. We fluked it. It was very lucky of us. They were just more clinical. We had loads more chances. We had a lot more efforts on goals. But we were doing nothing with it. I mean, the telltale sign here is the 6.5s that are being played by Mata and Ibra. Shocking. They were really, really bad. They weren't getting anywhere. Their shots were pop shots from outside the area, which was getting ridiculous. But more to the point, look at Sunderland. Three shots on target, three goals. That's what we needed. They had 38% possession and they should have won. They really should have won. If they'd have dug in a little bit in the last 20 minutes, they definitely would have won that game and there wouldn't have been anything anyone could say about it. Paul Pogba came back into the squad and although the team didn't play well, Pogba didn't have a blind in either. In fact, he was distinctly average. He was another player who was taking shots from everywhere. As you can see, Napoli realised that I'd sold them a dud because it looks like they've sold it onto Sunderland. Fellaini was the player that won the penalty for Sunderland that Destro converted. Um, he had a pretty decent game, Fellaini, to be honest. He was, he was used right up the top of the park. They were trying to use him the way Van Gaal did as a big target man. Um, it helped, but over the night, it was just a bit of a... I don't know, it was a lesson. My concern was, obviously, you think forward when you're losing, and when it went to 3-1, I thought, I'm not going to win this. And my biggest concern was around the fact that I'd still got Arsenal to play in the EFL Cup, and I'm thinking, well, take a loss off Juventus and then get beat by Sunderland in the league, and then field the kids against Arsenal, which they can get beat. In fact, you would dare say that the underdogs against a strong Arsenal team, assuming that it is a strong Arsenal team that we play. And I thought to myself, all of a sudden, after playing so strongly, we could be on the back of three defeats and morale will be through the floor. So getting this draw was all important to ensure that the morale's not taken such a beating for today's game against Arsenal. And other than that, there wasn't much in the way of news, but as you can see, the FA Cup has been drawn. We're going to be playing Sunderland, who have just given us a, a run for our money when we went to visit them, but they've got to come to us in the FA Cup. So I'd imagine that we'll get an easy run at that. And also, although it's not showing yet, the EFL semi-final has also been drawn, where we'll get either, I believe it was Swansea or City in the semi-finals if we go through. So what will be interesting, if the kids can pass Arsenal today in the live com, they're going to get Sitter. Which again, the young'uns will be playing themselves. Speaking of young'uns, I thought I'd just go over and take a quick look and show you. So we'll take a quick look at Twins RBA. You guys can pause it if you want to check out any of the stats. But look at those physicals. Not a single one under 15. The lad is an absolute tank. His mentals are on the way up as well, which is good to see. And he's tackling already at 14. He's heading at 14, marking at 15. He's going to be so strong going forward. At 21 years old, his time is now to start pushing into the team. We have an ageing Smalling. So there is going to be space for Twins Arbor coming soon, whether it be this season, next season. Of course, I personally may not be here if we win the Champions League because that's where the series will end. But nonetheless, for him in this career bright bright future and another one of maybe the little unsung heroes if you like Rashawn Williams whose positions come somewhat I don't know pushed out by Rob Magnoli and I knew that would be the case if you remember when I was toying with the idea of signing Rob Magnoli last January that's what I didn't want to do I didn't want to push anyone out and it's fair to say that Rashawn Williams has struggled a little bit to get into even the lesser games but I'm making sure I'll put him in where I can but again 
Look at those physical attributes. 13 in balance and a 14 in natural fitness, but the 16s and the 17 up in acceleration, the lad is quick. Quick, strong, bulky defender who's always going to do you a job. Another one who's really going to be pushing into that first team in the not too distant. And another one to look at. Now, we have to bear in mind that young Gomez is only 18 years old. Uh, we don't see the strength and the ability that we've got from our defenders, who are, of course, 20 and 21. But the green arrows that are going on for Gomez right now are insane. They're absolutely everywhere. Obviously, we have the highlight here, the 17 in his acceleration. But he's got a good number of 15s around the place. We did take a view of him at the end of last season. So, not a right lot has changed. However, I just wanted to show you that these lads are actually progressing. And another one I wanted to take a quick look at was Donna Rummer. Now, I'm not going to look at Gribbin because we did have a look in the last episode of the episode before at how well he's progressed and we already know the lad's an absolute star. Donna Rummer here. He's getting greens, which is good, which means he's settled into his training pattern that he's got at the club. Um, so it sometimes takes a while for the new kids to come over and do this. But he's already getting greens up in the areas that matters. But, I mean, we already know Donna Rummer. He's already going to be a world beater. That's why we spent as much money on, on him as we did. The great thing is, and I mentioned this when I bought him, but he's a backup goalkeeper. He's signed on a backup contract. He's not even on rotation. So having him at the club, even though he's earning 85 grand a week, knowing that he doesn't have to... I'm basically not going to have him bitching if he's not playing every week is a great, great thing. And his progression is something that's definitely going to be one to watch because I think it's going to go from like up there to boom. In no time. It really, really will. So that was just something I wanted to do before we got into a game that was obviously going to involve the kids. Just have a little quick look at how they're progressing themselves as players. But nothing else to talk about. Nothing else to get on with. Other than heading over to game day for the League Cup quarterfinal against Arsenal. So as we head into game day then, we are being made favourites by the press and the bookies. Our key man's Paul Pogba, but he's not going to feature. He's just on the bench to fill out the numbers. Because of course, this one is... It's about the lads who won it last year. They're the ones who are going to get to defend it. So, no Pogba. Mustafi is their key man. We'll head into the team selection screen and see how we got on. So, as we go to the team selection screen, I've realised I've made a big fuck up. David De Gea is in the sticks, but in the first minute of the game, as much as it's going to damage his morale, I will be bringing Donna Rummer in. Put him on the pitch because, to be honest, it's Donna Rummer who should have been in there. My bad. However, we have Bothwick Jackson at left back, Rashawn Williams and Twins Arby at centre back. We have Damian at right back. Then we have a central midfield of Gribbin, Fosu Mensah and Sanchez. Gomez playing a Trek with Tista behind Martial in the complete forward role and Rashford in the advanced forward role. They have Chesney and Nett, Kazawa, Police and Mustafi and Bellerin at the back with Coquelin, Ramza in the middle and then Sanchez, Ozil and Fekir all sat behind Ikada. It's fair to say they're going to push us today. I really think they are. So we'll go to the opposition instructions. We'll see what Roy has to say. How's it going, Roy? Scary man. Uh, hard tackling across the back, well, the front three as it were, but he has left out Fekir, which I'm not sure would be the wisest idea to do. So I'll have a little bit of hard tackling to Fekir myself. Job done, Roy. And as we go to the team talk, we are going to tell the guys calmly that I want them to ignore what the media have been getting at because I got them on the old get out there, the media have been backing you, showing why they're right there to prove you. And they, I got nothing from them last time. It's fair to say I got nothing from them this time. However, we are going to passionately tell them that we have faith because I do have faith in these kids. I think they should do all right. Of course, we're going to start the game. First thing I'm going to do is go to my tactics and whip off De Gea. There we go, De Gea. I'm sorry, mate. You're probably going to have like poor morale or something now. If you do, I can just play Donna Rummer in the other game. So no drama. So first highlight, about eight or nine minutes in. It's gribbing on the corner now. Whips one in. Doesn't go anywhere, though. It's Damian on the edge of the area, sort of. Williams, Fosu Mensah, loses out though and Arsenal will counter hits. Coughlin pushing it forward to Alexis, Damian stays ahead of him, well done Damian. Plays the ball back to safety to Donna Rummer and that was that highlight done with. It's Gribbin now to Gomez, Gomez to Sanchez, Sanchez to Gribbin. <sighs> Distant shot via Gribbin. Not really what we want to see, but that's where we suffered in the Sunderland game. I'd like these guys to try and work the ball into the box a little bit more. It's Gomez to Rashford. Sanchez to Martial. Oh. Mustafi manages to get in, take the ball off Martial, cuts that attack down. But Rashford's now in the box. Rashford with a cross. Martial doesn't get ahead of his man. But we are still on the ball though with Damian. And now Sanchez 
Fossum men to Gribbin. Martial to Rashford. Rashford to Gomez. Forces a save. Sanchez. Oh, God. We've still got it on the edge of the area, though. And it's cleared away. Twins Arby nods it out of play. It's Bellerin now. Fekir. Bellerin. Ramsey. To Mustafi. Ozil. Ozil with a shot. Donnarumma does manage to save it, though. Icardi was offside. They won't get the resulting corner. It's Borthwick Jackson now. Are we going to try and press on and get something out of this earlier rather than having to force it to late? It's Gomez with a ridiculously long range shot. What a waste of time, son. And tell the guys that we want a bit more from them. The ball is going out for a corner again. Sorry, guys, we missed that highlight while I was doing that, but it's gribbing with the cross now. It's Damian. Trying to work the ball forward. Twins Arbor. He's probably going to lose it if he's not careful. He's running into men. There we go. He's lost it. Ramsey will try and set free Akadi, but we've managed to win it back. Or have we? It's both with Jackson. Clears it to safety. And on the 45th minute, we're having them, but we've got no end product. That's the problem. We've, we've got everything but a goal. So I'm going to assertively tell the guys that I'm far from pleased. I want them to get out there, get, in, get us a goal. But again, I've got these striker issues. Why the hell didn't Dybala come in the summer? It's Akadi now. Fossum Mensa takes the ball off him, plays it back to Donna Rummer. It's Borthwick Jackson now to Gomez. Gomez plays it forward to Rashford. Gets cut out though. It's back with Gomez. Fossum Mensa. Sanchez. I could have played it forward. It's gone out wide to Damian. Will we whip in a cross? It's landed with Martial. Oh. Again, Martial played the right ball across the box, but didn't go to anyone. It's Damian here to Sanchez. Back out with Damian. Will he cross this time? He does, and it's Martial. That'll do. These kids, these are the ones who will be leading the Fergie way going forward. I say it an awful lot, I know. But if these guys can get a result against a full strength Arsenal, you know, your Rashawn Williams, your Twins Arbor, Gribbin, you know, Gomez, these young lads who really shouldn't be playing against world class players that Arsenal are playing today, it'll just be a hell of a result. As Rashford now whips the ball away from Bellerin, he comes charging down, he gives it into Gomez, Gomez once again with a distant shot. It does bounce out of play. We are going to get a corner. And yeah, maybe a second goal on route here. As Fosu Mensa has the ball stripped off him and Arsenal are going to try and counter it. It's Fakir now. Belting down the left. Damian clears it up. No drama whatsoever. And that's the end of the highlight. Gribbin standing over a free kick. It hits the wall though. It's Borthwick Jackson now. Dwelling on the ball a little bit. It's Gribbin. To Gomez, Sanchez, Martial, Rashford, Rashford spoons one over the bar again. I'm struggling to get these lads firing. I really am. It's Bellerin now, Ramsey, Gribbin, Borthwick, Jackson. We're only in the 50th minute. I'm not going to look to try and lock anything down yet. But if it remains 1-0, I'm definitely going to want to secure it. As we gain a corner there from a Gomez shot from distance again. It's Gribbin now with the corner, whips it in, and it's headed toward goal. Not sure by who, maybe because our or Cockle in there, because we have got another corner from it. Gribbin whips in another one, but Gabriel pushes it out only as far as Borthwick Jackson to Twins Arbor, Damian, and that's the end of the highlight. Arsenal bringing on reinforcements. I have just seen Granite Jackers come on. We're not going to look to do anything just yet. I think the lads are holding their own. They're doing quite well as Martial plays it to Sanchez. Gomez back to Martial. Martial hits the post. That should be two or could be two. He didn't hit the post. Chesney saved it. We've gained a corner. Gribbin whips one in. And it's landed out, out the area with Gomez. It's Fosu Mensa back to Gomez. Plays it to Rashawn Williams, but it was a bad ball there by Gomez. And he has lost out. Bellerin will start a counter-attack for Arsenal. Borthwick Jackson cuts it out. Job done. Martial. Played it to Rashford, who was suspect offside. Then it has to be said. It's Alexis on the ball. Sanchez gets it off him. Alexis wins it back, back though. It's Ozil. Plays it to Fakir. But Borthwick Jackson now can press forward. What's he going to do? He's running into men. What are you doing? What are you doing? Rashford now. Still Rashford. Plays it to Martial. Put over the bar. From close range as well. I don't know how we managed that. Fosu Mensa now to Sanchez. Martial Gomez. Rashford. It's landed with both with Jackson. Chesney with a save. It nearly put us 2-0 up. Arsenal have not hit us with a shot since probably 10 minutes in. It's Mustafi now. 
Fakir. Fakir to Welbeck. Twins, Arby to Sanchez. Gribbin now. Rashford. Fosu Mansa to Gribbin to Sanchez. Rashford. Plays it out wide to Damian. Will he whip it in? He does do. And it's it's gone in. Rashford. What a goal. I don't know how he's managed to get over the keeper there. We'll get a look when we get to 3D. But I, I'm, I'm happy with it no matter what. Damian there. Whips it in. He, he didn't even have to get over the keeper. Chesney come out too early. Ball went over him. Rashford didn't even jump. He just stood there. Shoved the napper on it. 2-0. And now. Now we can start looking at making some changes. So we'll go to the team instructions. We want the guys to retain possession and we definitely want them to take a breather. And we're also, although I should have done it on that screen, but oh well, what does it matter? We'll just wait for these changes to take effect. It's Rashford, Sanchez, Gribbin to Foss and Mensa, back to Gribbin. Gomez skins one, gets, oh, he gets in a shooting position, manages to put it wide though. So those changes have took effect. We're also going to drop them down to contain. So we don't really need to push anymore. I think at 82 minutes, Arsenal are going to have to come at us to try and score two goals when they've only had three shots in the whole game. They might nick one if we sit back, but I'm pretty sure they won't nick two. Rashford skins one. Poor, poor shot. He really could have done better at the end of that, it has to be said. And there we go, full time. The young lads and the young lads only. Not even a substitute made. As we can see, some of them are worn out, but as I've got another game coming up where I'm going to use the stronger team, I was not too worried about subbing these guys in. So yeah, they managed to beat Arsenal, which has to be said, I'm not going to clap because my microphone's in, it's just going to sound horrific, but what we set out to do, we set out to let the lads who won the trophy last year defend it against one of the stronger teams in the league, strongest team in the competition quite possibly, I think, um, City could prove a different challenge with it being a local rivalry in the next round, assuming they go through. But nonetheless, I'm pleased as punch with it. So we'll literally tell them that we are very, very happy with the way they played because we are. Um, the striking issue is still an issue. I think that's going to be an ongoing issue this season. Uh, but nonetheless, the group as a whole, they did pretty well. So there we have it then. This semi-final will be played on the 16th of January, which is a little over a month away. And we will get Manchester City. So that'll be an interesting one once again for the young guys. But the great thing is, there's a good few young Mancunians in there, you know. So it'll mean a lot more to them. They'll play well in that game. So there we have it then. Episode 9, done dusted. And we'll now need to look at what's going to happen in episode 10. So for me, I'm looking at it. And as you can see, the next game's got Everton, Watford, Burnley, Brighton. But interestingly, we then have West Ham. Now, West Ham... We're doing well in the league last time we looked at it. I'm not going to look at it now because I don't really want to spoil anything. It'd be nice to come into the next episode, seeing where West Ham are sat in the league. But we know that they were sat quite high up there. I'm pretty sure if they've not come into money yet, they're going to. So they're playing quite well. So I think West Ham has to be the next game. So between the episodes, between the now and tomorrow night, I'll get through these other four games, be back ready for West Ham on the live com. And yeah, with a little bit of luck, we can pick up three points and we can sort of put this sort of loss and a draw behind us. Try and get the team firing again. Of course, Pogba's managed to get himself back into the team now after his little kick out to the shed where, look, listen, mate, you're staying at the club and that's the end of it. So hopefully we can kick on. Now, between now and then, there will be the draw for the Champions League. I, uh, I'll probably even tweet it out, but there will be the draw for the Champions League. So, yeah. That could get interesting as well. I sort of hope that we get a bigger team. But I am looking for an easy route to the final as well. I have faith in the team that we can beat stronger teams. But I've just got this concern over the strike partners yet. I mean, at the moment, I'm going through serious thoughts about whether to drop Ibra entirely. I know. I know it sounds insane. But having come back from that injury at the beginning of the season, I'm confident he's not the same player. And I don't want to be giving chances to Ibrahimovic when Martial, Rashford or Memphis should be getting them and of course with January coming we can plug that fourth striker spot hopefully maybe I don't know we'll see but yeah let's forget about it for now we'll see how that goes in January and I'll hope to see you in the next episode so if you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to hit the like button I say it all the time Hit the like button, it takes a second. If you're still here now, I would hope to some degree that you've enjoyed it. So if you could hit the like button, 
you'll be doing me a grand favour. Other than that, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit the sub button. If you are new around here, check out in the comment in the um, description below. You'll find the season one review, season two review. Then at least you don't have 50 odd episodes to try and watch through to catch up with what's going on in the here and now. And other than that, guys, don't forget my Twitter links down in the description. If you want to come follow me on Twitter, that'd be awesome. And that's it for today's episode. So I've been Teach FM, and I'll catch you later. See you in a bit.